Hi, my name is Kenneth. I'm one of the technical consultants here at Mozenda. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a sequence to split up agents to scrape an entire website. So what we're going to go over is what is sequences. Finally, how to split up agents that scrape an entire website within a sequence. Let's recall the definition of a sequence, which basically means a series of steps or commands that tell Mozenda to perform certain actions. So when scraping large amounts of data from websites, it's going to be really beneficial to use a sequence that can allow you to split the site up into manageable chunks so that the agent will, one, run more jobs, which means it will run faster, two, help you more easily troubleshoot errors in specific categories or sections within the website, and then finally, three, help you automate your process so you don't have to manually tell your agents when to run one after the other. So let's take a look at an example of scraping an entire website and using the sequences to scrape the site. In this example, we're going to take a look at a retail store and we're going to scrape the entire website. And in this use case, I want to have all the products and I want to get the product names with a price and a description. So going to a, a retail store site, I'm going here and most retail stores you'll notice they'll always have categories. And then within those categories, you get subcategories and those can vary in size. And so what we need to do before we even scrape the site is we need to examine inside the site, how are we gonna to get to the products? And, and then on top of that, how many agents will we need to actually scrape this site? Because scraping entire site, we need to split up agents so that we can run more jobs, easily troubleshoot errors, and finally automate the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming in here and the first thing I want to do is, okay, so I see there's categories and then subcategories. So I'm going to click into the subcategories and then I see I get the list of products with their associated price, but I have to click into the products to get some sort of description, which will just grab this information here. In total, I see that I need an agent that's going to go and grab the categories with the subcategories, probably the subcategory URLs. And the next agent will load those subcategory URLs and grab all of the products, their listings here with their product URLs, and then paginate so it gets all of the products on the page. And then finally, the last agent will take those product URLs, load them, and it will get the description and the price. Once we've identified how many agents we'll need to do, the next step is to actually build the agents inside of the builder. Remember the first agent was to grab all of the categories with the subcategory URLs. So I've done that here. I've just created an agent that comes through and grabs my subcategories and then grabs subcategory URLs as well. So once I've done this, I can run the agent and I can use that agent's list for my second agent. It will take those results, load the subcategory URLs, and then scrape the product title and product URL. So let's check out that agent. So while this agent loads, you'll notice over here that I'm taking a data list of the subcategory URLs, loading them, and now I'm scraping the product title, price, and the product URL, and paginating through each of the products. Once I've captured each of the products with their product URLs, my agent is complete. I'll use a part three agent to then load the product URLs to scrape the description. So let's go and check out the part three agent as well. So you notice that this agent is very simple. It's my last agent and all it does is load each of the product URLs and scrapes all the descriptions. I can see how many products there are by clicking into my data list and viewing the total count of the products. So I'm going to right click on my data list, go to properties, and I can see that there is over 1100 different products for this particular website. On top of that, I notice that I have the categories, price, and product URL and all this other information that I've gathered from previous agents. It's important to make sure to put the input field, so these fields that we're carrying over, into the output fields. This type of action is called waterfalling. You're going to waterfall your fields so that they carry over to the next agent. To do this, I'm going to go to my additional settings and then I'm going to put the fields, capture the fields into the output collection in this box below. I can also do this by just saying select and then highlighting each of these fields and select OK. Once I'm complete, I'll save this and I'll build the rest of my agent where I come in here and just grab the product description. Once you've finished building out your agents, the fourth step is to test and validate each agent. 
That doesn't mean running the agent all the way through inside the web console, but making sure you get enough products that you can fix any errors and adjust. So once you've done this, you can now build your sequence. So what we want to do is put the agents into the sequence to run multiple jobs. Now I understand that many websites don't just have 1100 products, but thousands and thousands of products. But the process will be the same, whether it's three agents, four agents, or even five agents, the process will still be the same with validating and then putting your agents into a sequence so that you can run multiple jobs so that they go faster. So let's check out building the sequence and putting them into multiple jobs. And I'm going to build a new sequence. So I'm gonna come here and give this sequence a name. Okay, so it will tell me to build a sequence through adding a step. So I'm gonna go here and select add a step, run agent. So the first agent I'm going to run is my part one agent. And remember they're in order. Okay, so this agent does not have any data lists, so I just select save. It, remember, it's just grabbing my categories and subcategory URLs. So I'm gonna come here and run my next step, which is my part two agent. Now, Mozilla will automatically detect that there is a data list. Now, remember my data list of URLs, there's about 31. So I can split this up into multiple jobs. So let's say, um, let's do 10 concurrent jobs and select save. So what this will do is it will split up the subcategory URLs into an index of 10. So we'll have 10 independent jobs running at the same time and getting all the product URLs. Okay, so my next step, will be to take those product URLs in part three and run them to get the description. And so let's grab that part three agent, put that here. And once again, we're gonna be splitting up the data list again. So finally, this data list, if you recall, had over 1100 different products. So we wanna split this up as much as we can. So we're gonna put 20 concurrent jobs here. Now, it's important to note that there might be restrictions per website. So I might not be able to do a total of 20 concurrent jobs at the same time, but the other remaining jobs will remain in the queue. So I'm gonna select save. Now you'll notice that this icon will appear that says runs concurrent jobs. That means that they're splitting our data list up. The final step that I wanna add here is I just wanna publish it to myself. I can do this within the agent of part three, or I can do that within the sequence as well. So I'm just gonna do it in the sequence so that you can see the step. And we're just gonna select the agent. And then uh, I'm gonna select email and it's gonna send me a CSV file with all the data combined. So remember we're waterfalling over all of the fields. So the categories, the subcategories are carrying over into the part three. So essentially part three will be a combined data set. And then the fourth step will just be to publish to my email once it's complete. So what this will accomplish is when I hit ready and run, Mozinda will automatically run each of these. And when part one's finished, part two will start and it will be split into 10 concurrent jobs. And then part three, which will be split into 20 concurrent jobs when part two has finished. And then finally, it will publish the data to my email. So I don't have to automatically go into Mozinda and hit run. So that about wraps up how to use a sequence to split agents that scrape an entire website. Feel free to reach out to our support team if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.